Having Lyme disease has completely changed my life. My son also has had it as well and it's completely changed his life and it's changed our family and really our future. I grew up in Putney, went to school here and I've always been really active in the outdoors doing sports and hiking and now with farming I'm also outside a lot so being in a tick endemic area means that I have to be really aware about tick safety. Just generally speaking, an increase in the amount of patients coming in with tick bites, concerns for Lyme disease, actual signs and symptoms consistent with Lyme disease, other tick-borne illnesses as well. So there's definitely been, been a significant increase in areas where it's, it's fairly common, at least to have ticks around, you know, especially here in Vermont. I grew up in Vermont and there were never ticks in the Champlain Valley and now there are a lot of them. And so it's a fairly rapid encroachment into our area. So the Agency of Agriculture's Tick Survey is a tick density survey that will look at the density of ticks in every town in the state of Vermont. We're looking for what ticks we have in the state, where they are concentrated, and what diseases they're carrying. And we're kind of going at those questions from different directions with different types of surveys. When we go out flagging, we go out in teams of two. One person holds a flag that's on a wooden pole. You go 15 meters, you stop. That's good. Both people inspect it very, very carefully oh, that one. because the nymphs are especially tiny. They're like poppy seed size. Then flip it over, check the other side and start the whole process over again. All the ticks on any 15 meter section get dropped into a vial. So we take all of that data back to the lab. They all get labeled so that we know exactly where they came from, the time of day, the wind speed, the humidity, the temperature, everything. And we enter that into a database. It's interesting to see how the populations of ticks are changing. Every year for the last 15 years, the ticks have just been getting worse and worse in Southern Vermont. It makes you really fearful to enjoy the woods and to go hunting and to hay and cut firewood. It makes you incredibly exhausted most of the time. So working full time is really challenging when you have Lyme disease. We weren't doing any of the prevention protocol measures. We may have been able to change the course of our life. Really the prevention for tick-borne illness is a prevention for tick bites and our recommendations for that and the ones that we follow are to tuck your pants into your socks or into gaiters, something that will keep a tick from being able to crawl up inside your pant leg. We recommend the use of uh, EPA approved insect repellents. If you're out walking on paths to stay on a mowed path, if possible, and if you do brush up against vegetation, you know, just check yourself quickly and brush off. As soon as I come in the house, I take off all my clothes and throw them in the dryer. 15 minutes on high, it will kill any ticks that are on your clothing. And while that's happening, I jump in the shower and rinse off because that will dislodge anything that's crawling. And then at the same time, that's a great time to do a tick check on your body in case something has attached itself to your body. And if you do it every 24 hours, you're within the safe window for the transmission of Lyme disease pathogen. If a tick is just present on you, there's no risk of Lyme disease transmission. So if you see it crawling on your skin, on your clothes, and you grab it and you take care of it, then there's no risk there. I think really good prevention comes in doing tick checks. If you get in the habit of doing that, it doesn't take long. It's a small investment in time and can help hopefully avoid you potentially getting Lyme in the future. Lyme disease is definitely life-changing. I would urge all Vermonters to be aware of ticks and be tick smart. If you take precautions, there's no reason not to go outside and enjoy the Vermont that we all love. <laughs>